I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to find angles between lines. So we will take two lines and this time we are going to take equation lines in Cartesian form or the uh, scalar form. Let us say the equation is 2x minus 3y plus 5 equal to 0 and let us say we have another line whose equation is let us say x plus 2y minus 1 equals to 0. So at random I have just picked up two equations and now we will find the angle between these two lines. right? Now since they are given in scalar form we know 2 and 3 minus 3 represents their normals. right? So for the line 1 we have normal vector which is which is equal to 2 minus 3, right? 2 minus 3. And for the second line, the normal vector is 1, 2, right? Is 1, 2. Now, the angle between the lines should be same as the angle between the normals, right? So, we can think about like this. So, angle between lines is same as angle between their normals, right? normals. So that is the concept and to find the angle between lines uh, let me remind you what is the dot product. So if I find dot product of n1 and n2 so let's do dot product of n1 and n2 here so we know dot product of n1 and n2 is equals to let's do that it is 2 minus 3 dot 1 2 so when you do dot product you get 2 times 1 as 2 plus minus 3 times 2 which is minus 6 and that is minus 4. Now you also know that dot product is also written as magnitude of each vector product of magnitude of each vector times cosine theta right. Now we know this dot product is minus 4 so we could write this as minus 4 equals to the the magnitude of these correct so from here we can find the angle so that that expression dot product helps us to find the angle between the two lines so in general let me write down what cos theta will be cos theta is going to be the ratio of dot product of two vectors let me write n1 and n2 divided by their magnitudes, divided by the product of their magnitudes, correct? So that becomes the angle theta. We'll do cos inverse to get the answer, right? So let's write down what this is. Dot product is minus 4. So I'm writing minus 4 on the top, which is the dot product. And the magnitudes are square root of 2 square plus minus 3 square. That's the first one times square root of 1 square plus 2 square, correct? So which is minus 4 divided by, this is 4 and 9. 4 and 9 is 6, uh, I mean 4 and 9 is 13. So square root of 4 plus 9 which is 13. And here is 1 plus 4 which is square root of 5. So that is cosine of theta. So we can say theta is equals to cos inverse of negative of 4 divided by square root of 13 times square root of 5. Okay, so since we have a negative value here, let's understand that concept. Uh, cosine from the cost rule is negative in quadrant 2, right? So what we will do here is we'll find the related acute angles. So it is negative that means you are in quadrant 2 somewhere. Negative means or you are in quadrant 3. So those are the two angles, correct? Between the two lines. Now what we will do is we'll find the principal angle and then we can find that angle by taking away from 180 degrees, correct? So that is how we can take care of the negative part, right? Yes cos inverse within brackets so we have 
15 times, I mean 13 times, we got 4 divided by square root of 5 times 13. So we get 13 times 5, right? Bracket close equals to. So that gives us 60.25. So what we really found was we found, let's say we found the related acute angle, which was cos inverse of 4 divided by square root of 13 times square root of 5, right? So that gave us 60.25. That gives us 60.25 degrees, correct? So that is for the principal angle. Now we are looking for the acute angle. So that, I mean, angle in quadrant 2 or in quadrant 3. So that has to be 180 minus 60.25. So we get theta as equals to 180 degrees minus 60.25. Do you get it? So that becomes the angle which we get from the given expression. So it is 180 minus 60.25 equals to, in degrees, 119.75. 119.75 degrees. So that becomes the answer. Now it is important to note that when we are talking about two lines, as was the case here, we'll just sketch at random the two lines. The normal seems to be 2 and minus 3. So if I consider that part, 2 and minus 3 will be kind of a line like this, right? So this is one line. Is it okay? The other one is 1 and 2. That means 1 and 2. So the other line will be kind of, let's say, let's say like this. Okay. So as you see, the angle between the two lines could be the acute angle, okay, which we got as 60, or the other obtuse angle which we got after taking away 180 degrees, right? So those both angles are the angles between the two lines. So we could actually give any one of those as our answer, right? So I hope that helps. So the angle between the two lines will be uh, 60.25, it makes sense, right? Or 119.75. So that is how you find the angles. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.